On the road, yep. Back again, and today, well, look at that. Blue sky. It simply cheers me up. It really does. It can be cold. I'm fine with that. Just give me a bit of sun and blue sky, and all will be well. Talking to well, I'm a little bit better after almost a week off, and that's why this video is actually going up late. They go up late anyway, Smith. Yeah, they do. They really do. Deal with it. I'm not a journalist, nor am I a breaking news. I'm certainly not a yellow ticker at the bottom. I actually don't own a laptop that I can edit on, so you will never see me going to Insert Stadium here and uploading a video two hours after the game's finished. I mean, fair play to anyone that does that. I'm sorry, I've got to drive home. <laughs> I've got kids to feed. And then after that, eat dinner cold, and then catch up on sleep because I'm normally work until 2 or 3 a.m. because, yeah, kids. And more of me moaning about my life in a minute, but before we do that, did you see the previous video? Oh my god. Yeah, that was Bristol Rovers, wasn't it? It wasn't the best time, was it? And uh, unfortunately, the award-winning food down there didn't really get top marks, did it? If you follow me on Twitter, though, you would have seen the caterers would... If, well, they went for me. They weren't happy at all. Apparently, need to be a qualified chef to have an opinion on food these days. And ranking their food in the way that we did was uh, basically an online attack against them. So, uh, I apologise, I do. But honestly, it's not that deep. I just didn't like the sausage rolls. It's, that's all it is. Yeah, if you haven't checked that one out yet, go on then. Go and check it out. And while you do that, we're going to go to a place called Name, Chatham Town FC. It was founded in 1882. That's well old. They currently find themselves in the Southern Counties East Premier Division, which is step five and non-league, nine down from the Premier League. They play their football at the Ballville Stadium, which has a total capacity of 5,000, where 500 of which are seated, but absolutely not heated. Absolutely not. This sign on the left, you can't see it. I can just about see it. It says that the A13's closed. The bloody a13, eh? Where once again it's the back way. Where I get cut up on the mini. What are you doing? Brilliant. But eventually you get into the old manor, which is gross. But as you can see, we're approaching the width restriction that nobody wants to go through or not see, by the way, because uh, my windscreen is absolute filth. The sun is really uh, shining a light on this right now. Yeah, it looks like we're back to normal. The temporary lights are gone, so yeah, here we go. But before Beyonce gives us the green light, let's check out the, uh, well, you know, it's the top comments of the week. Chronos, Chronos, however you say it, I said, while on the road is iconic, I'm always fond of the line when they're checking the nets, they never seem to realise that there's plenty of holes in the net. I've been saying years, mate. I'm pretty sure one day they'll realise, but uh, until then, I'll just keep letting them know. 104 people like the fact that Bobby said one thing about Charlie, always looks proper clean. Yeah, I agree. Very clean, very fresh. Smells good too. Why do you think I keep inviting him back? I basically saved money on car freshness, didn't I? And finally, oh Jesus Christ, I got top comment of the week. Yeah, I, I made a few uh, mistakes last week with the edit, or last time round at least. Annoyingly, that video was uploaded and scheduled uh, a good few days before it actually went live, so it was sitting there with mistakes in it. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot at the moment. This video often takes a couple of days to do. Then I've got the Palmer's FC stuff on another channel. Two videos being done there, which takes a couple of days as well. And quite frankly, I don't have that much time. I'm sort of squeezing it all in each week. So uh, I'm always burning the candle at both ends, like I said there. But yeah, hopefully I can get on top of it. And uh, I will not be making any silly little mistakes in the edits anymore. So do not worry. And as we finish that, the light goes green. Beyonce has called us and uh, off we go through the width restriction that nobody wants to go through. It's not even that bad. Look at it. Look at it. As we swing into the complex, we're going to go and pick up you know who. Wow. Uh, hello, Charlie, in awe of the mess we've been making over the last couple of weeks. Starting route to Chatham Town Football Club. So first leg of the journey to Chatham Town Football Club is the QE2, the big bad boy M25 QE2. It takes us to Kent, it's going to cost a £2.50 for the pleasure. The traffic piles up on the other side, the sheer demand to spend £2.50 to get into Essex is clear. But right here, right now, we're going to take this exit on the left, I think it takes us to the A2, I'm not too sure, I forgot by this point. Now I'm telling you, I really did consider going to Rochester Castle today, but we do have a game to see. And following last week's catastrophe in the food department, we we're buzzing for some non-league greasy food, so fingers crossed we can get that today. Things just got very nice and green. Trees either side of the road. I get the vibe that everyone's doing very well for themselves down here. We won't see them at the game today. <laughs> non league? Absolutely not. Only the finest stadiums and the most private suites for them. Now, if they're leaving the rich street, it's all downhill from here. Tell a lie, we're going up in the world now. Where the buses are green, they have MS petrol pumps on every single corner. Well, not every corner, but there is this one. And opposite that MS garage, we're going to turn in here. Then swing in there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chatham Town FC. We can't actually find a space, so we're going to have to swing back out. Obviously, right after we've done a three point turn, but it's going to be a little bit more than that because uh, this is tight in here. So that has been two. We're going to swing back round four, three. So it's obviously not going to be that. Can we get out for four? Leave your predictions here in the comments below. Absolutely not. That big bonnet of mine always gets in the way, doesn't it? That's five. Which means if we come back here, I think we can get out for six. We're going to be able to do it. Go on. Go on. Yes, yes, yes. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. You could be absolute diamonds and drop a like on this one. That'd be much appreciated if we want to hit 10,000 likes on the On The Road videos. If you're new, subscribe for more. If you haven't checked out all of the On The Road yet, you can check out the On The Road playlist. It's got everything you need there for a binge. Yeah, that's me. I'm Smith. This has been On The Road, and we will see you in the next one.
said no one ever before five minutes of an on-the-road video. But we are out of here. We're going to go and find a parking space somewhere on this road, hopefully. Mate, don't bother going in. You ain't going to find anything. He's gone in. Oh, not even listening to me. Anyway, as we get towards the end of this road, we do find a space on the left as uh, John waxes his coat on there. Wise move, mate. It is getting nippy out there these days. It's for the best. What are you looking at? John's mate Terry. John and Terry. As you can see, he's gone for more of a waterproof option. But more importantly, guys, as I left the car, I, I've done it again. I think there's something wrong with me. Genuinely. I said it to myself. And I remembered. I've got a problem. I keep leaving the keys in the car. It's conquer season at the moment, but you wouldn't really know that because Geraldine f***ing took them all. Sorry, I don't normally swear, but that's really pissed me off. Genuine question here. Can you eat conkers? Yeah. Do you want me to eat one? Well, before you do that, Charlie, we should really Google it, is what I should have said. Because according to Woodland Trust, no. <laughs> Full stop. Conkers contain a poisonous chemical called Ascalin. Eating a conker in bold writing is unlikely to be fatal, which is, which is fine. We can carry on now. Oh, God. <laughs> it's very dry. <laughs> How did that get so dry? So we enter the car park again. With a very dry mouth, we can see that there is a queue for non-league football. Always love seeing a queue at non-league football. I got £10 out. I'm expecting it's not going to be any more than that. And it wasn't. Just a mere £8 to get into this gaff. I got change. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh, very new. Very swish. Let's go and see what Bobby's got to offer. Well, first of all, I spent £9 on a couple of drinks. And we've got a Brendan. Another Brendan. An absolutely amazing matchday mascot package. That's Charlie's Christmas present sorted. Our chance opponents today are Glebe FC. It's third versus fourth. Number 26 for Glebe is a, a name I recognise. Let's get some focus on that. I think that reads as uh, six for six and Ugandan. So we should take our drinks and we will go outside and get in the queue for Bobby's Food Shack. The menu's good. Chips, cheesy chips and loaded chips. Oh, Let's do the burgers. I just spent £7.20 on that and loaded chips. And we're right on time for kickoff. Oh, and who remembers last time we went proper non-league? There was a goal after like 20-30 seconds. There was a Ware FC but today we're at Chatham versus Glee. Oh my god. Already? <laughs> I haven't even taken a bite of my burger yet. He's winding to the Glebe. <laughs> anyway, we're going to walk to the end of the Chapman shooting. We're quite far down the ladder, but this line out is taking his job seriously. Love that. Is he part of the family? Just found an imaginary ball. <laughs> I feel that we come to the right end. Chapman the red. Putting the ball in here, but that is going to be cleared by Grimsby at the near post. Finally, going to take a bite of my burger. Oh, but wait. One all. And now I'm going to take a bite of my burger. And after wolfing that down, because I don't want to miss much more, we're on to the main event. Oh. <laughs> it's a layer of chips with cheese, followed by another layer of chips with cheese, followed by another layer of chips with cheese, sprinkled with bacon. And it's our job to test this out. <laughs> that just supplied me with a chip fault, but it's not getting the desired effect. Just use your hands and pick it up. <laughs> go on. Well, all of it. Yeah, go. It looks like a pizza slice. Intelligence from above is seeing and hearing good things. They want in. Because I'm filming a plane, I miss this. <laughs> Two ones to the Chatham. Let's move. Then these opening minutes, it's goals galore. Opposite side of the ground now, and that is some girthy corner flaggage. They start them young here, don't they? And I get the feeling that Justin Stewart at Chatham Town is a thing. It doesn't really get better. Sun is shining. Goals are flying. The chips ain't lying. A great place to die in. It's a bit morbid. Anyway, Glebe got a free kick. After missing the first three goals, let's make sure we get this one. That's provided it is a goal. He's probably going to blow it up. What is going on here? Can't believe it. It's Desmond. Now, it was a little bit sunny over there, so we're going to go back to where we were originally. As we do that... Look, five stars, is it? Oh, my word. He's giving it. And oh, my word. There's a, a drink service here. Back in the pitch. Big G's going crazy. I'll tell you what's more crazy. Glebe, one new up after a minute. Two one down after a few more. They've just equalised for a free kick, and now they have the chance to go three two up after 24 minutes. <laughs> Oh, don't mind them, that's just Sky Sports regretting their decision to put Leicester versus Arsenal on. When they could have clearly just had Chatham versus Glebe. Who scored that penalty, by the way? Uh, nine, James Philbot. Thank you. It's an if Carlsberg did non league football stadiums moment. Josh here working tirelessly up and down to get the punters their drinks. Back on the field, Dave. Three kicks. <laughs> I still can't believe the luck we've had by getting here today. We've done round trips for hours. And not many games have come close to the first half hour of this one. <laughs> Lads, we just took up the service. We just asked for a drink. Back in the field, someone needs to be clattered, apparently. <laughs> Once that happened, Josh came back and has gone. And Charlie got a drink. Free delivery, too. Oh, wow. See, this is going to kill him now. Oh, dear. Six. Six goals we've seen. It's 4-2 to the Glebe. We need more drumming. Come on. Oh, How can you? When is it's camped in their half? Yeah. <laughs> they, they need you. Twelfth man. Leave me alone. Yeah, so I'm not too sure how the uh, position of the ball on the pitch has ever stopped a man from drumming. He's given his reasons. We've had to respect him as uh, things start to get feisty. <laughs> 
But more important, there's Lassie aired from 1954 to 1973, and she's here today. Not the main event, though. She's taking a step back. She's just going to be dog at the football. Now, my friends, is half time. It took me this long to realize the players go down that tunnel. We're going to take a walk where it's all about Puma suede on your feet. And Pete, you're not invited. Following that, the Glebe goalkeeper coach came to shake my hand. Thank you very much. An update on the stewards. They're definitely growing up. It feels like a nice modern stadium. The subs benches, though, brick built with a, uh, a tin roof. We've got some important seats for some important people. And sod it, we'll sit in them. And the leg room is better than Northampton. <laughs> Would you look at that? He's gone early. He's stuck it on an important chair for an important person. If you want to support the channel and grab some stickers of your own and spread the word, then you're more than welcome to. It's yetbackagain.com. So as clean and modern as this ground is, every non-league ground needs a pile of crap. Anyway, as we go up these steps, players make their way back out onto this artificial pitch. We're going to go up a little bit higher, and this should be our view for the second half. The chat start brightly. Then we have an attempt at a drum because the ball's not camped in their half. Following that, a well-worked corner. Nice. Ooh. And then an injured Big G. <laughs> Meanwhile, who's this guy? <laughs> and now Big G's finally back on his feet. <laughs> be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed there's not been another three or four goals yet, but we'll wait. We'll be patient. <laughs> Moments later, the referee shows this man a slice of cheese, and after that, chats for a penalty. It's getting feisty. And for the free kick, it literally has been all chatting this half. Yeah, yeah. Bobby's food shack is pumping out the food, I'm telling you. Schoolboy error from Dan, though. Just cheesy chips for him. His man's obviously never had the loaded chips, has he? Never. He'll learn one day. One day, I'm sure. Now, I did take a photo of the football to football, and uh, lots of you commented. You're damn to put you in the video, so hopefully you see your comment. The fastiness continues. Long story short, he did eventually get up, and Chatham continued to dominate his second half. What then? I just don't understand he can get five goals in the opening 24 minutes, six in the opening 45, but nothing in the second half. The trend continues. Corner this time. Big G punch or palm. What about handball? Finish, finish. That's it. I mean, we haven't had the goals, but it has been entertaining. And there's a slice of cheese for Big G. I wonder if he eats cheese, like a big block of cheese, just on its own. That and a protein shake whilst reading poetry. That's what I've got him down as. I can see it now. Now, this level might be low down, but look at the balls they're spraying. Look at the control. I'm fairly certain Premier League, Fernandez is going down here. Fair play for staying up. Oh! Sometimes I get overexcited. Oh! We're about to find out how many minutes have been added on. That could have also been displayed as this. Can you see it? Yeah, I think so. So six minutes for a dramatic ending. It's going to start with a free kick. Here we go. That's it. Oh, my word. Oh, my word indeed. Have we not seen a goal in this second half? Will we see a goal in this second half? Liam over here, not happy with Big G time wasting, and his plan has worked perfectly. <laughs> Despite the result, appreciation for the fans to the players and the players to the fans. As we leave, I just bumped into an on-the-road viewer's dad. It's Alex's dad. Hello. Hello. So as we finish things off by uh, testing the height of this roof and uh, slowly making our way out of the ground, should we rate this experience? I think we should. Next. Oh! <laughs> and so, my friends, we kick things off with atmosphere. There wasn't much, to be fair, considering it was like one of the best games we've seen, or one of the best halves, at least. Uh, it got better in the second half as Chatham really tried to get back into the game. But overall, going to go with... Let's go with 1.5. Next up, we're talking facilities. And don't forget, this is relative to the uh, level they're at. And uh, I mean, the level they're at and the stadium they've got is fantastic. I'm not too sure how long it's been done up for, but um, obviously you've got that 4G pitch there, which adds to the sustainability of the club. They can rent it out midweek. Recoup those dollar dollar bills, y'all. You've got that bar, screens everywhere you look, the food shack, a stand, one with seats as well. I really like the terrace behind the goal and the height of it. Mate, this is step five and the ground says otherwise. Not even going to question it. It's five stars all day long. Well done, Chatham Town. It's not a great start with the atmosphere, but we pulled it back with the facilities. How about the food and drink? Well, we're going to be talking 
talking about those chips. The burger was decent, but the chips blew me away. It's the sort of thing you see going viral on Twitter. They really were top-notch chips. They might give you a heart attack, but we, we're talking about taste here. And for me, we can't say anything lower than five stars. So that's why I'm going to say five stars. Oh, and don't forget that Dr. Pepper as well. They can't do any wrong down at Chatham Town FC. And finally, we're talking cost. Ladies and gentlemen, we spent eight pounds to get into this gaff. Eight pounds. And for that, we saw a first half of six goals. A second half of zero, but it was still a good game overall. The food wasn't exactly expensive. And they've even got a drink service where someone will come and bring you a drink. I've literally never seen that at a football match. So uh, the fact that I've witnessed it here is uh, fantastic to see. But also, you don't even have to pay for that sort of service either. You just pay for your drink. It's, it's, there's no charge. So where am I going with this? Well, it's quite simple. Five bloody stars for Chapman Town FC on the cost. They should be proud. And so they should be proud. 16 and a half stars in total. Had that second half started going in their favour, that atmosphere could have easily crept up and we may well have been looking at one of the best on the road ratings so far to date. But it wasn't to be in the end. But either way, they should be very proud. And uh, non-league football people, we've seen some crap, but we've also seen some fantastic ones. And uh, this was definitely one of them. So as they leave the ground, the future of the club hit the woodwork. We consider chilling out and making use of the facilities. But I'm afraid I've got kids to get back to. But don't worry, I'll bring her back a souvenir and I certainly won't be chomping down on it on the way home. So there you have it. That was our trip to Chatham Town FC. Brilliant one. Enjoyed that. And if you did too, make sure you drop a like on the videos. We want to hit 10,000 likes on these ones. Don't forget, it's the bare minimum. Come on, help a brother out. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and you want to see future videos, tap that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when a new video is out. And don't forget, if you want to catch up and have a little binge, check out the On The Road playlist. The link is in the description below. We're fast approaching 100 grand, so plenty to check out in the playlist. Let us know where you think we should go next. But until then, I've been Smith. This has been On The Road, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see.